In this problem, we're using the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a side in a triangle, in a right triangle. The Pythagorean theorem says that if uh, we have two sides, we can always get the third one. We just need to know which side is the hypotenuse, the C side in this formula of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The hypotenuse in a right triangle is always the longest side. It's also the side that's opposite of the right angle. So you can find it straight across from the right angle. So our C in this one is 15. And then the other two we can just call A and B as we like. So we'll do it like that. Once we've got our labels correct, we can plug the values into this formula. The value for our A side is x, so I'll put in x squared. The value for our B side is 10, so we'll put in 10 squared. So we've got a squared plus b squared, and then our value for c is 15, so that equals 15 squared. So we've got x squared plus, well, 10 squared is 100, and 15 squared is 225. Now once we get to this point, we've got x squared plus 100 equals 225. We want to solve for x, so we want to get this x variable alone. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this plus 100 by subtracting 100 from both sides. And we get x squared equals 125. At this point, to solve for x, we want to take the square root of both sides. So I've got x equals the square root of 125. And here, they want us to round our answer to the nearest hundredth. So I'll just pull out a calculator. So 125 square root. So it looks like I get 11.18 to the nearest hundredth. So 11.18 is our value for side x. So that is how to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a side that's not the hypotenuse.